So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While well, self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. So here's out Neil Magny, made his UFC debut all the way back in February of 2013 and UFC 157. And nobody forecasted that he would go on to win more fights at welterweight than any man in UFC history. A lot of big names on his resume as well. Kelvin Gastelum, Hector Lombard, has wins over former champions like Johnny Hendricks and Carlos Condit, Robbie Lawler. But that's the past, and Neil Magny still believes that he can rise to contention. No number next to his name tonight but he continues to work on his striking under Christian Allen. Cardio is next level, and Neil Magny believes he's about to show the world a major statement here on the Proving Ground tonight. of this or any calendar year. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Haitian sensation, Neil Magny. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here as we get yet another look at Neil Magny, a true promotional workhorse, one of the winningest welterweights in UFC history. But he's not resting on his laurels. He believes he has a favorable matchup in front of him here tonight. And he said, whether it's grappling, striking, or wrestling, I believe I should have the upper hand. Just misses with the jab there. He gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him, and this is with it there. Early connection with the left from the champ. And there's that jab. Technique on the straight right hand. All right, nice job early on by the BJJ fighter to engage the boxer here in the clinch. And if you're the boxer, maybe don't get too confident in the hands here, or you're going to end up on your back. Absolutely, because there's risk versus reward. Is it worth throwing that uppercut hook in tight, knowing 
that the moment you break that clinch, he's going to level change and get to your hips. It's a game of chess right now as we watch these two fight from his clinch position. Doing work with the jab there. Oh, the high kick lands. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Mike gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. We march on three minutes to go. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Magni. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown about many at all. Oh, nice pressure there on the feet from Neil Magni. Some of the best cardio in this welterweight division. Always a guy who draws high praise for his work ethic. Magni could go all day. And potentially a critical takedown here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Magni. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. The Korean Superboy getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. All right, half guard form here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, and get back in position, we'll posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Back and forth we go. It's almost like he's got a range finder out there. It's just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. So reach advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. Nice punch there by Neil Magg. Good as that hook, he lands another one here. He's connected on several in this round. Plenty more where that came from, to be sure. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Lands a jab. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. D.C. Domus saw that one come a mile away. D.C. I like that one. I really, really <laughs> like that one because I got it right, and it makes me feel like a genius, John, when you give the credit. Extra 25 bucks in your paycheck. That's it, week. huh? Boy, EA Sports got to step it up. <laughs> <laughs> Round right. two straight ahead. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
Nice shot to the head from the clinch position. Another punch to the head. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, nice defense there with the block. Trademark inside leg kick there by Shore. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Fighters separate from the clinch. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that will play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance in the striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial artist. Oh, Superman punch is good. Maggie's thigh really starting to show signs of bruising now. That is a deep shade of purple. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. his opponent down to the canvas. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on our hips, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. We shove them through the middle so that our legs can be what controls your feet. Right. We're not using our hands. I'm not using my hands. I'm using my legs to just kind of wheel and deal you from side to side. Then my upper body is free to punch. If you get your feet on my hips, you're out. Right. You may as well just kick away. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Choi's in half guard. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seems to be his final target. I mean, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into the... All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Big right hook there by the champ. That was nice. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Magny's got the full mount. One minute now to go round two. This is a terrible position. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Magny. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pound. Yep, got to be very careful there. Now the elbow is the weapon of choice. Uh, uh. Good round. Hey, stop. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. 
He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. getting active. Lands another combination to the head. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Nice hook there by Joy. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Just misses with a left hook there. Slips that left hand. tonight and as evidence some swelling out on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. And his head kick is blocked. No damage there. Side control now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. North-south position now. Perhaps the crowd will get its collective mind out of the gutter. Oh, Kimura attacks. Yup. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, look at that high level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Now he's going full mount. Two minutes now to go. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can't just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Magny's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Big shot to the head. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Ooh, what a punch. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Trading huge shots. Let's see. It's going to be the last minute chance. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurt. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Magni. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, 
and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. You ready to fight? All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go an extra 10 minutes. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. some spacing as they exit the clinch. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He has got to change something. Nice uppercut. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Magni is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Under three minutes to go in round four. Short uppercut here in the clinch by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice. Oh, great block there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show himself. Counterpunch landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, back and forth we go. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Nice block. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path to get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. And he's back up. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. 
Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, big left hook there. Magny's kick blocked. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. Sure, his nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. And how about the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead? That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fights. Right on the ball. get the finish. He hurt him real bad. He couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. All right, so the redness is only present now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Got tagged a couple times. Nice combo up top. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, the boxing class, hands up, chin down. It's hard to think about a fight in his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shut. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is his... That is as close to the term that I can say. This guy does not look like the guy that walked into the octagon earlier. He made a lot of mistakes earlier, and they're ultimately costing him right now as we've gotten longer in the fight. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Great time to that double leg. Good ground and pound here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound right his back. opponent's head through the right canvas. Choi gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, head kick, bang. All right, late in the fight now, DC. The submission specialist clearly is going to be on the wrong end of the scorecards if we get there. You got to get going. It does not matter if you get reversed. It does not matter if you get the hard pass. You got to just start pulling up the pitch and go by causing action. You can latch onto something to end the fight. Two minutes now to go in this one. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Magny's in half guard. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, right to the mouth. 
so wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old now. I don't even want to fight no more. I, I do a little, uh, little damage. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Magny's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Oh, nice hit. Now some separation from his clutch position. Oh, nice. Kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Well, missed on that one. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are right talking there. about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson ray is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, God. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Played the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Choi. So the Korean Super Boy, Duho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight, a big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy is just getting started. Now let's see just how far he can take.